Hello everyone. Welcome back to Agriculture Insight. 46 billion pounds. That's how much canola harvested in 2024 by farmers all over the world. An astonishing number. Today, join me on a journey through the incredible journey of the canola. From the golden fields that stretch across Canada and the United States to the high-tech facilities where canola seeds are pressed into one of the healthiest cooking oils. We'll discover how farmers carefully nurture and harvest each seed and how cutting-edge technology enhances productivity and product quality. Let's get start now. Canola is one of the most important crops in North America and Europe, playing a key role in making cooking oil and biofuels. In North America, it's grown mostly in Canada's prairie provinces, as well as in U.S. states like North Dakota and Montana, where the cool weather and rich soil are perfect for canola. But canola isn't just big in North America. It's also a major crop in Europe, with countries like Germany, France, Poland, and the UK leading the way. Farmers there have found the perfect mix of old-school farming know-how and modern technology to grow tons of canola every year. This crop has become a global superstar in agriculture. Every canola farming story begins in the fields. In Canada and America, after a cold winter blanketed in snow, the planting season kicks off in early spring. As the snow melts and temperatures rise to around 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, with frost risks fading, farmers get to work planting canola seeds. The first step is preparing the soil. Using advanced machinery like disc plows and cultivators, they loosen the soil, improve aeration, and clear out weeds, creating the perfect conditions for the seeds to grow. Next, precision fertilizer spreaders evenly distribute organic manure from livestock, ensuring the soil is packed with nutrients to support healthy canola growth throughout the season. Once the soil is prepared, it's time to plant. Canola seeds are often treated with specialized coatings to protect against soil-borne diseases and pests, ensuring better germination rates and healthier plants. Farmers pour canola seeds directly into the seeder's containers. In addition, granular fertilizer is also added directly to the machine to help the seeds have the initial nutrients to grow. These tiny seeds are sown using advanced precision drills, which place each seed about 0.5 to 1 inch deep into the soil with optimal spacing to maximize growth. The ideal distance between rows and plants ensures proper airflow and sunlight exposure, which are crucial for a thriving canola crop. Thanks to modern machinery, planting canola is a quick and efficient process, with large fields spanning dozens of acres, often completed in just a single day. After planting, canola needs careful care from watering to spreading fertilizer. Pivot irrigation is a highly efficient system used to water canola fields, ensuring even distribution of water across the crop. This system features long, rotating arms that pivot around a central point, delivering water directly to the soil or plant roots. For canola, pivot irrigation is particularly beneficial, as it provides consistent moisture levels, crucial for optimal growth. Besides watering, spraying is equally important. Spraying for canola involves using modern machinery to apply fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides precisely at critical growth stages. This careful management helps canola plants thrive, boosting their health and overall yield potential. Canola typically begins to flower about 40 to 60 days after planting, depending on the variety and growing conditions. A canola field in full bloom is a breathtaking sea of bright yellow, stretching endlessly under a clear blue sky. The vibrant flowers sway gently in the breeze, creating a stunning contrast that embodies the beauty of rural landscapes. While canola is primarily self-pollinating, the presence of bees greatly boosts the efficiency of pollination by transferring pollen between flowers. Honeybees and wild bees are particularly attracted to the bright yellow blossoms of canola which provide abundant nectar and pollen. Farmers often place beehives near canola fields during the flowering stage, encouraging natural pollination while also supporting honey production. This flowering stage usually lasts for two to three weeks. The harvesting process for canola begins when the seeds inside the pods are fully developed and the plants turn a golden brown, signaling that it's time to harvest. Canola is harvested using modern combined harvesters. 
Come with me to large farms in North America and Europe to witness the harvesting process. Canola is usually harvested in two ways, direct combining or swathing first and then harvesting. Direct combining is used when the canola is evenly ripe and the weather is dry, saving time and effort. On the other hand, swathing is applied when the plants are unevenly ripened or at risk of seed loss due to strong winds. This method allows the seeds to ripen more evenly before the main harvest, ensuring better yields. First we come to Canada, where canola is harvested primarily by swathing. To ensure the best quality and minimize seed loss, this involves cutting the plants and placing them into neat rows, called windrows, across the field. Swathing helps the pods dry evenly, prevents shattering, and allows farmers to harvest the crop at an optimal time, even if the weather is unpredictable. It features sharp cutting blades and a moving conveyor belt to neatly lay the plants in rows on the ground, for further ripening. The canola swather is also equipped with a roller at the back, which gently presses the freshly cut rows onto the ground. This component helps secure the plants, protecting them from strong winds and promoting even ripening. Once the windrows have dried to the right moisture level, Specialized combine harvesters equipped with advanced cutting heads are brought in to complete the process. These machines efficiently pick up the windrows, separating the tiny black seeds from the stalks through a gentle threshing process. The harvesters are designed to minimize seed loss while leaving the remaining stalk residue neatly in the field, where it can decompose and enrich the soil. The combine harvester for canola features a large grain tank positioned on top of the machine to store seeds directly after separation from the plant. It efficiently cuts the plants using front-mounted blades and moves them into the threshing chamber to extract the seeds. The canola seeds are collected and transported into the top-mounted tank via a conveyor system, while the stalks and leaves are discharged out the back. When the bin is full, the canola is transferred to a trailer for transport to storage. Next, we will explore the direct harvesting process using a combined harvester. Direct harvesting of canola using a combined harvester is common in Australia, the United States. This machine basically works exactly the same way as the combine harvester above, except that the harvester is larger to help maximize the harvest area. Canola isn't just an essential oilseed crop, it's a cornerstone of global agriculture, with annual production reaching over 46 billion pounds. Canada is the leading producer, contributing a significant share to the global market, followed by countries like Australia and the European Union. However, fluctuations in climate and international trade can impact supply. The United States also plays a vital role in the global canola market, leveraging its advanced agricultural technology and sustainable farming practices to meet market demands. American farmers' adaptability ensures a stable supply of high-quality canola, supporting global food security and reinforcing the U.S.'s position as a key player in international agricultural trade. For large-scale operations, multiple harvesters often work in formation moving rhythmically across the field to complete the harvest in the shortest time possible. This blend of careful preparation, swathing, and advanced machinery ensures that each canola seed is harvested with precision and care, ready for the next stages of processing and production. After harvesting, canola is transported to the oil press by truck. Trucks loaded with freshly harvested canola seeds roll into the factory gates, carrying tons of raw materials straight from vast fields. The seeds are weighed and inspected for quality before being unloaded onto conveyor belts, beginning their journey through the modern oil extraction process. The process of unloading canola seeds from the truck into the storage facility is quick and efficient. 
The truck is positioned over a grating that covers the storage pit and the bottom hatch of the truck is opened to let the seeds flow down. The canola seeds are then transferred via conveyor belts or augers into the main storage silo, ensuring minimal spillage. The canola seeds move steadily along the conveyor belt, passing through initial cleaning stations to remove debris like leaves, stems, and dirt. From there, the seeds are guided into crushers or rollers, where they are gently cracked to loosen the oil-rich hulls from the inner kernels. This process ensures the kernels are ready for further conditioning and oil extraction. Next, they are fed into mechanical presses or expellers that extract a portion of the oil. To maximize yield, the remaining seed meal is processed in solvent extraction machines, where food-grade hexane is used to extract the remaining oil. The oil collected from both processes is then filtered and sent to storage tanks for refining. Next, the crude canola oil is filtered and treated with chemicals or physical methods to remove free fatty acids, waxes, and unwanted particles. The oil is then decolorized and deodorized with activated carbon and steam, resulting in pure, safe, and flavorful canola oil for consumption. After refining, the canola oil is pumped into the bottling line, where automated machines fill it into pre-sterilized bottles with precision to ensure consistent volume. Now you've gained a comprehensive understanding of the journey of canola, from vast golden fields to high-quality oil. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of a crop that plays such an important role in both agriculture and everyday life. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of farming and food production. See you in the next video.